Welcome to QuickMocker. In this short video we'll show you how to use our application with the default setup for intercepting and debugging any request. So, the first step is to create a new project. The new project form will appear. The host name is generated automatically as we are using a free subscription plan. Let's call the project test and hit create button. Our test project has appeared on the list projects page. Let's click on its icon to open it. As you can see, right from the start your project consists of one default endpoint. It is generated for every new project automatically. On the very left side of the endpoint panel you can see the response HTTP status code. It is set to 404 by default because we assume that currently you do not have any valid web service routes. You may easily change the response code to 200 if you want. The URL path is set as a regular expression and that's why you can see a corresponding label next to the status code. This regular expression pattern can match any text value. Finally below the status code you can see all possible HTTP methods. It means that the default endpoint can intercept and debug any request to your project's host. Click on the kebab menu next to the endpoint and then click edit. It will open an endpoint form in the new modal window. From here we can change any value like HTTP methods, URL path, whether URL path it is a regular expression or just a text, response headers, the response body, response status code, and text. Also we can change the description of the endpoint which is visible only for us, but for now we'll keep as it is. For the matter of demo, we'll change only response body, for instance let's add another JSON property. Property name. Demo. Value. Yes. And now update the endpoint. After performing updates to our endpoint, let's try to make a request to our host using a Postman app, which you are probably familiar with. Simply copy our project's hostname using a quick copy button and paste it into the Postman's URL field. Also let's change the request type from get to post. And for the testing purposes let's add some request body, for instance JSON object. Data. Postman. And now we'll hit the send button. The response returned HTTP status code equal to 404 not found, same as defined in the endpoint. And this is our response body we've just saved in our endpoint. Let's get back into QuickMocker. As you can see the notification icon appeared on the requests log tab immediately after we've sent a request. In this tab all the requests to our project are immediately logged. We can quickly go back to Postman. Add some path to the URL like test. Also let's change the HTTP method to put. And now hit the send button again. The request appears in quick mocker right after. When you click on the record item, you'll see all the details about both request and response. In the request tab you may find the body we have set in the Postman app by the way. So that's a short introduction on how simply you may use the quick mocker app. With the default project setup that you get right from the start, you may intercept and debug any requests made to your QuickMockers domain URL. Continue watching about creating a new endpoint in the next video.